Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's staying safe. I wanted to talk today about a issue I had with a video that came to me and how I fixed it using Handbrake. So I do videos for this American football team, the New York Jets, and this guy sent me something he recorded on his iPhone. You know, I got the file, right, just through email, and I downloaded the file, imported it, into Avid, and this is what happened. <laughs> it gave all 11 minutes of the file with this humongously grotesque green color on it. I tried to link it. I tried to transcode it after linking it. I still only got the green file, right? And I went to the, you know, like when I play it on my desktop in the VLC media player, it played fine. So what was I going to do? Wow, all right, I don't know. I'm going to take it into After Effects. That's what I did first. I took it into After Effects. I rendered it out the same as any other graphic I would render out, and I couldn't import it into Avid. So, you know, I'm lucky I still have these other programs. I tried it in Premiere. I got it into Premiere. If you see here, I would play it. The audio would work, but one frame, and sometimes it would step around. It was very random, like sync issues where the audio wasn't matching up to the video, or in this case, I, I have just a still, and the audio is playing fine. So now I'm saying to myself, wow, I got this video file that works fine when I play it through this media player, but I can't get, get it in Avid, and I can't even get it in After Effects and Premiere. What am I going to do? So I finally figured out with the help of a very smart editor named Andy Tim, the power of the free program called Handbrake. So again, this is a free program you can download and it converts videos and it's pretty awesome, gotta, gotta say. So I'm gonna show you how I did that right now. When you open Handbrake, it comes to this window right here. So basically you just wanna drop a file in there or a folder with multiple files. So I'm gonna drop that file that I just showed you about in there. And Handbrake is going to take a look at this. Nice still there. And basically, you can go through all the settings. I'm not going to go through everything. Pick what preset you want to change it to. Um, I, I put it to a fast 1080p 30. This is a YouTube video. Fine, you know, I just wanted to get it into my Avid. The only other main thing I dealt with was where to save it. In this case, I'll just do my desktop. And the biggest thing I did, I just converted it to an M. P4. I just literally changed the letters right there and I hit save and now I'm going to start in coding. Now one thing to think about is this might be an issue from he shot it on an iPhone and I'm working with a PC and maybe it's a new iPhone and, and ultimately I don't even really care. I'll probably find out eventually what the issue is, but I just wanted to find out a solution because if I spend 10 minutes trying to figure out, well, iPhone 11 doesn't match with HEVC codecs or whatever, that's 5 minutes, that's 10 minutes away of my beer drinking time later with friends. So when this finishes encoding, let's see what happens. It took about 10 minutes to convert this video, which was about 10 minutes. So it's almost real time, something to think about. And now if I go back here and I try to import this file, which was on my desktop. All right, so it imported. And now if I play it down, it plays fine. But one thing I should mention, I was too lazy to do it before but I like to name all my files HB for handbrake so I can differentiate between the original green file and the file that works correctly thanks to handbrake. This free program did what Avid, After Effects, and Premiere couldn't do for me, and I will raise my beer to that. I've been drinking so much during this quarantine. I would say my top three are the Brooklyn Lager Defender IPA, Lawson Super Session Number no. 6, uh, Montauk India Wave Runner, and I'm forgetting the fourth one, but whatever. It's all good. Hope you guys are getting through this quarantine the best way possible. Zoom with friends and drink happy hour. That's my biggest suggestion. And if you have time, take the full Avid course at avidbeer.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.